bla 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 Are you sleepy now, little one? No. All right. Up and down. Up and down. Hey! Oh, oh, swing time. Yes, it is. Yes, frogs are good at swinging. Can I have a go? I am the swinging frog. Oh, hello, Rocket. I'm trying to get little one to go to sleep. Oh, right. Well, she won't want to be in the swing then, will she? Oh, yes, she will. It rocks her and that makes her sleepy. Up and down and up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Rocket? Rocket! Go, 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 yes. Cool. I was going off to sleep then. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Rocket. I was going to ask you to push the swing for me. My arm's getting tired. Oh, well, perhaps she's asleep by now. Are you asleep, little one? No, she's wide awake. <laughs> well, why don't you give her to me? I'll rock her. I am the rocking frog. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, little one. Close your tired little eyes. You're a sleepy little one. Bla bla bla, any any wa, asa asa la la. Have we here? It's stones! Pom finds stones! And very nice they are too, Pom. Hmm. They look like stepping stones to me. <laughs> Rowley, Rowley! Listen! <laughs> well, well, well. Would you believe it? That's a little bit of music you have there, Pom. Ah. 
Some more music. This is a piano. You press the keys with your fingers, and each key makes a different sound. <laughs> Hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny. Hot cross buns. If you have no daughters, give them to your sons. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. <laughs> well done. Ah, Pompey tune. Oh, yes, indeed. Just choose which stones you want and sing along. Ah. La. 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 <laughs> la. 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 <laughs> well done, Pom. That's a very fine tune. Ah. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, little one. Close your tired little eyes. You're a sleepy little one. Oh, here we are, Rocket. Look, I've got Pom's trundle truck. Oh, it's little one asleep. Oh, I'm afraid not, Flurry. I nearly am, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for trying, Rocket. Ooh, my pleasure, Flurry. Uh, what are you going to do with Pom's trundle truck? Well, I thought perhaps I could wheel Little One up and down to help her go to sleep. <laughs> oh, dear. That's a very loud squeak. <laughs> Hello, Flurry Love. Oh, Bessie, I'm trying to get Little One to sleep, but she just doesn't want to go to sleep. Oh, dear, that's a very loud squeak. <laughs> a squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> oh, 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 what shall I do, Bessie? Well, you could try singing her a song. Oh, oh, that's a good idea. Um, a rock and rock in the trundle truck. A rock and rock in the trundle truck. Rock and rock in the trundle truck. Rock it in the trundle truck. Oh, is it working, Flurry? Oh. No, little one doesn't seem to like that song very much. Oh dear. Maybe Thimbo and Pom can help. Oh, little one, what are we going to do with you? <laughs> oh, hello, Pom. <laughs> oh, what have you found? Oh, stones. Uh, Papa simply found a stone. But I thought I could hear music. <laughs> Oh, that's good, Pom. <laughs> uh, <ooh. laughs> oh, mm, uh, I like this one best. Mm. Uh, uh, Pom like this one. <laughs> <laughs> listen to this one. <laughs> Fimper, listen. Whoa, that sounds best of all. Two together. Um, uh, let's try that with the others, Pom. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hello, you two. Hello, Roly. <laughs> I've been listening to you playing those stones, and do you know, they made me think of a story. A story about stones? Well, no, not exactly. A story about something making strange noises. <laughs> Would you like to hear it? Dolly! Dolly! Oh, yes, please, Roly. <laughs> right, well, then. Back in a Roly Mo. <laughs> when you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Ooh, uh, here we are then. Are you sitting comfortably? <laughs> yes, Roly. Then I'll begin. This story is called The Rabbit Who Wanted to Bark. 
One morning, Rabbit was wiggling her nose and twitching her ears as usual, when suddenly she stopped. I'm fed up with just wiggling my nose and twitching my ears, she said. I'm going to do something different. So Rabbit thought and thought for a long time about what she could do. Then a horse came along. Nee, said Horse. Woof, woof, said the rabbit. Woof, woof. Aren't you feeling very well, rabbit? asked the kindly horse. Woof, said rabbit. A sheep came along. <coughs> said sheep. Woof, woof, said rabbit. Hmm, said the sheep. Are you a rabbit or are you a dog? I'm a rabbit, but I haven't done much barking before. This is my first day. Well, dogs bark at everything and chase everything and sniff around smelly bits of grass. Oh, said Rabbit. So woof, all day long Rabbit barked woof, and sniffed woof, and chased. Woof, woof. But the barking woof, woof. began to give her a headache and she got fed up with chasing things. A long way off she could hear the other rabbits playing. She twitched her ears. It's a good thing rabbits have long ears for listening, she said. Rabbit could smell the grass the other rabbits were eating. She wiggled her nose. It's a good thing we have wiggly noses for smelling. She kicked up her legs behind her. It's a good thing rabbits have strong legs for running. And she ran all the way home, happy to be a rabbit once again. Lovely. Uh, wiggle, wiggle, a rabbit nose wiggle. <laughs> That's right, Pom. A rabbit nose wiggles. Uh, woof, uh, woof, uh, woof, woof, woof. Oh, I think I'd like to be a dog barking. Oh, woof, woof, woof. Uh, do you think I sound like a dog, Rolly? Oh, woof, oh, woof, oh, woof, woof, it's a very woof, good thimble. Woof, woof. <laughs> and do you know, I think I like your singing even better than your barking. Oh, <laughs> Blah, blah, bala. <laughs> What's that, Pom? Oh, sorry. Oh, hello, Pom. Hello, Thimbo. Hello. I'm looking for a song to get Little One off to sleep. Oh, sorry. Sing blah, blah, bala. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I don't think I know that one, Pom. Did you make it up? <laughs> I think I know what Pom's talking about. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lived down the lane. Thank you, said the master, thank you, said the dame, thank you, said the little boy who lives down the lane. <laughs> Oh, it's my pleasure, Pom. It's always been one of my favourites, too. <laughs> Cheerio! Oh, bye, bye, Rolly! <laughs> oh, 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 what are these stones doing here? Oh, oh, Pom, simply find a stone. There, Flory, and listen to this. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow! Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for the master and one for the day. And one for the little boy who lived down the lane. Thank you, said the master. Thank you, said the day. Thank you, said the little boy who lives down the lane. Down, up and down, oh, 
Oh, a flurry. Cool. I'm getting dizzy going up and down all the time. Is she asleep? Um, oh, she's nearly asleep, Rocket. Let's see if she likes this song. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Oh, <laughs> I think she's fast asleep. She is. Look, Rocket. Oh. <laughs> Hello to you. How do you do? I feel like doing something fun today. Let's go and see what the others are doing. Ready? Then off we go. Now then. Oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just about to blow a bubble. Watch this. Hello, Uncle Roly. Oh, hello there, little bow. I was just blowing a bubble for our friends. Oh, will you blow one for me, Uncle Roly? Oh, of course, little bow. Here goes. Oh, beautiful. See if you can catch this one. Oh, I've got it! I've got it! Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Try again, little bow. on my roller skate. Never mind, little bow. Maybe it wanted to go roller skating. Oh, roller skating. <laughs> what fun. Why don't you have a go, Uncle Roly? Oh, no, no, no. I couldn't possibly. Why not? You're always saying that it's good to try new things. Well, I know, but I'm... I'm going to find my other roller skate. I think it's in the bedroom. Back in a roly mo. <laughs> Do you think I could really roller skate? Hmm. You go! Me go! We, we go! go! Amigo! Let's a go! go! Go. <laughs> yes, little bow. Have you seen my other roller skate? Um, no. no. Oh, are you sure? Uh, <gasps> oh, oh, there, there it, it is. is. Oh. What is it doing there? Uh, <laughs> don't know. Thanks anyway for finding it. Hey. Come on, something exciting's about to happen. Oh. Uh, something exciting! Let's <laughs> a go go! Amigo! <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, Uncle Roly. One pair of roller skates. Oh, yes, one pair of roller skates. Come on, Uncle Roly. You can do it. Oh, I hope so. Keep on, keep on, ooh, keep on trying. If you want to learn a brand new trick, but no matter how you try, it just won't click. Don't give up, don't look so glum. Sooner or later, it's sure to come. Call for help. Oh. Go 
stopping and sighing. Just keep on, keep on, do, keep on trying. Got to learn to walk before you can run. Take it slowly and have some fun. Ooh, before you, you know, know it, you're flying. Just keep on, keep on, yes, keep on trying. Keep on trying. Well done, Uncle Roly. You can do it. Oh, oh, here you are. I've been looking for you. Uh, Uncle Roly? Roly? On roller skates. That is exciting. Ooh, off I go. <gasps> Let's a go go. <laughs> Hello. Where is everyone? <laughs> what? <laughs> Was <laughs> we <laughs> that? Uncle Roly. Uncle Roly? Yes, he's on Little Bo's roller skates. <gasps> what are we going to do? I know. We'll, we'll look in my busy book. That might tell us what to do. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a Fimbo? Who can you see? It's Fimbo! What are we going to do today, Fimbo? Look, an aeroplane. Aeroplanes go really fast. Yes, this is a fast and slow game. Look, there's a snail. Are snails fast or slow? The snail isn't going very fast. The snail is slow. That's a car! Vroom, vroom! Cars go... Fast! Yes, cars go fast. Look, a speedboat! Is the speedboat fast or slow? The speedboat is very fast! Look, a little baby. Is the baby going fast or slow? <laughs> the baby's going slow. We've got fast things. And we've got slow things. Have we got more fast things or more slow things? Let's see. We've got one, two, three... Three fast things! Meow! <laughs> and one, two... Two slow things. There are more fast things than slow things. Thank you, Fimbo. See you again soon. But what are we going to do? Well, fast and slow. Uncle Roly's going fast and we've got to find a way to make him go slow. Right. Look out, more coming through. <gasps> Phew, that was close. Where's Hugo? Hugo? Hugo, I can't see where I'm going. Uh, but what are we going to do? Well, first of all, don't panic. Oh, don't panic. Don't panic. Uh, uh, don't panic. Uh, don't panic. Now, what would Uncle Roly do if he had a problem like this? Um, I know. We need a story. A story? Come on, Migo. <laughs> Take a look inside a book. Who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs. A monkey who says boo, boo. Wonderful things, giants and kings. And maybe a thimble or two. Now what have we here? Over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. Can I have a book that will help Uncle Roly, please? Thank you. 
Now then, are you sitting comfortably? Yes, hurry up! All right. Then I'll begin. Jip the Cheeky Monkey gave a big yawn. Ah! It was nearly time for his afternoon nap. He looked around the jungle for somewhere quiet to sleep. In the tree were two parrots chattering noisily. He'd never be able to sleep here. In the pool, Baby Hippo was having his afternoon nap. <sighs> He'd never be able to sleep here. Just then, through the leaves, Jip spotted a lovely quiet place to sleep. He crawled into the little space. It was soft and warm and silky. He yawned one more time ah! and fell straight asleep. But then Jip had the strangest dreams. He dreamt that he was riding a horse at the circus. Then he dreamt that he was on a roller coaster at the fun fair. Then he dreamt he was at sea on a small boat in a big storm. Suddenly, Jip woke up and heard the biggest yawn that he'd ever heard. <coughs> he had fallen asleep in Lion's soft golden mane. No wonder he'd had some strange dreams. He'd been asleep on Lion's back as Lion had run through the jungle. Hello, little Jip, said Lion. Did you enjoy your ride? It was very exciting, said Jip, but I'm still very sleepy. So am I, said Lion. Let's both have a nap. Ah! So Jip and Lion yawned one more time each ah! and settled down for their afternoon naps. And they both slept very well indeed. Well, I'm confused. Let's think about the story. How could Jip sleep while the lion was running through the jungle? Because he was asleep on the lion's soft back. Oh, that's it. Something soft. Soft? Yes, we've got to find as many soft things as we can for Uncle Roly and Hugo to land on. To land on? Hope it works. Oh, this is fun. Oh, is it? Oh, 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 oh. oh thank you. Oh, oh, yes, thank you. I was wondering how to stop. Oh, I'm sorry, Uncle Roly. I didn't teach you how to stop. Oh, that's all right, little Bo. You can teach me now. And then I can have another go. Uh, uh, another go? Yes. And maybe you'd like to join me this time, Migo. <gasps> Migo! <laughs> <laughs> Haven't we had fun today? Yes! yes it's, it's been, been a roly moly day! <laughs> <laughs> you will come and join us next time in Thimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! 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 <laughs> One, two... Three! Where are you, Ribble? Oh, oh, hello. I'm playing hide and surprise with Ribble. Oh, Ribble, where are you? Oh! <laughs> Ribble, oh, you did surprise me. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, little one sunbathing. <laughs> oh. 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 I'm getting the fimbling feeling. <laughs> I can feel a twinkling. 
I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. Oh, oh there is something to be found here. Um, oh, oh is it here? No. Um, or is it there? Oh, oh, can you see it anywhere? Um, uh, oh, um, oh! <laughs> oh, 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 what's that? <laughs> oh, look at the jewels on top. Oh, 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 it's so soft inside. Hmm. But there's nothing in it. <laughs> oh, Bessie, Bessie, look what I found. Hello there, Florichuk. Ooh, now what have we here? Well, it's a beautiful box. But look, there's nothing inside. Yes, it looks like a very special box. I wonder if it could be for keeping very special things in. Special things? Yes, you see, it looks like a treasure chest to me. Oh! <laughs> That's a lovely box. Is it a treasure chest like mine? Yes, it is, Flory. Huh, that boy's putting some things inside. Oh, I like that car. Oh, a blue duck. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful seashell. Some more shells. And a feather. How wonderful. Do you know, I think they're all his special things. He's putting his treasure chest away now. <laughs> He's hiding it. <laughs> yes, so nobody else will be able to find his treasure. I wonder if I could put something special in my treasure chest. Oh, I'm sure you could. Oh, I know. I'll go and show the others. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 bye, Bessie. Ta-ta, love. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, hello, Thimble. Oh, hello, Flurry. I'm playing hide and surprise with Ribble. Oh, look what I found. Oh, well, what's that for, Flurry? It's a treasure chest. We can put our special things inside and keep them safe. Safe? Yes. You put your special things inside the treasure chest so they won't get lost. Oh, good idea. Now, what's my most special thing? Oh, that's easy. It's your shimmy shaker. <laughs> my shimmy shaker. Now, that really is my most special thing. That's why you need to put it inside the treasure chest. What shall I put in the treasure chest? What is the thing I like the best? What shall it be? What shall it be? My shimmy shaker. <laughs> It's special to me. There you go, Shimmy Shaker. Hmm. I'm going to find Pom and see if she wants to put something special in the treasure chest. Bye! Oh, bye! What I found, it's a treasure chest. Oh, hello, treasure chest. It's for putting your special things in to keep them safe. Oh, special? That's right, Pom. Something that you really like. Thimbo's put his shimmy shaker in. Look. Ah, uh, 
tingling tree? <laughs> oh, Palm, the tingling tree is very special. But it won't fit inside the treasure chest. Look, it's too big. <laughs> oh, too big, big. Yes, too big, big. Uh, apple. Oh, that's a good idea, Palm. Apples are very special. Oh, they'll be nice and safe inside the treasure chest. <laughs> What shall we put in the treasure chest? What is the thing we like the best? What shall it be? What shall it be? Apples! One, two and three! <laughs> <laughs> All in! Now, I've got to think of something that I can put in. Oh, I know! Oh, see you later, Pom! You are, little one. You're my most special thing. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm not going to put you inside my treasure chest. But I like your hat, though. Can I put that in, please? Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you, little one. What shall I put in the treasure chest? What is the thing I like the best? What shall it be? What shall it be? Little one's hat. She's special to me. Hmm, now I need somewhere to hide our treasure chest. <laughs> oh, hello, Flurry. Cool. What a superdy doopity box. What's inside? Oh, it's a treasure chest, Rocket. It's got lots of treasure inside. Look, there's Thimbo's shimmy shaker, Pom's apples, and Little One's hat. A treasure chest? Cool! Now I'm going to hide it. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, where shall we hide it? Um, hmm. Oh, uh... Oh. <laughs> uh, how about here, Rocket? <laughs> Not there, Flurry. I can still see it. Oh, um, uh, oh. Oh. Oh, come on, Rocket. We'll have to try somewhere else. Cool. <sighs> oh, how about here? Uh. Oh, yes. Tippity toppity. Hide it under the blanket, Flurry. Hmm. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Where's the treasure chest gone? <laughs> it, uh, it's here, Rocket. It's here, under the leaf blanket. Oh, well, tickle my tadpoles. That's good hiding. It completely disappeared. Oh, hello, you two. What are you up to? Oh, we've got a treasure chest. Oh, really? Where is it? Oh. <laughs> oh, we've hidden it, Roly. We've hidden it so well, you can't see it. <laughs> no, I certainly can't. That's very good hiding. I wondered if you'd like a story, if you're not too busy. Oh, yes, oh, yes please, please, Roly. Roly. Oh, back in a Roly Mo. <laughs> Rocket? You will remember where we've hidden the treasure chest, won't you? Yes, of course I'll remember. Come on, I want to hear Roly Moe's story. Will you remember where it is too? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Now, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. <laughs> yes. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called The Shiny Button. Hmm. Ollie and Marinda were on the beach with Molly's granny. It was a hot day 
and they were paddling and looking for crabs. Suddenly, Marinda shouted, Look! And she picked up a small, shiny piece of metal. I found buried treasure. That's not buried treasure, said Molly. It's a button. It's as shiny as treasure, said Marinda. It looks as if it's come from a smart uniform, said Granny. Do you think we can find out who it belongs to? asked Marinda. Tell you what, said Granny. There's PC Poppet. Let's ask him. Hello, he said. Are you enjoying the sun? Oh, yes, thank you, said Granny. But you look a bit hot in that jacket of yours. Oh, yes, <laughs> it is hot, said PC Poppet. But I have a cold and I need to keep it on. Marinda held out the button. We found this, she said. Can you tell us who it belongs to? Hmm, said PC Poppet. I've seen this somewhere before. Uh, now where... <laughs> PC Poppet sneezed. He sneezed so hard that one of the buttons on his uniform flew off and landed in the sea. Molly fished it out of the water. That button's just like the one we found, said Marinda. PC Poppet looked at both buttons. So it is. That's where I've seen it before. It's my button. It must have popped off the last time I sneezed. I thought it was buried treasure, said Marinda. Well, it's not quite as important as that, said PC Poppet. But it is important to me, so tell you what, I'll buy you an ice cream to say thank you. And he did. Lovely. Molly and Marinda thought PC Poppet's button was shiny treasure, didn't they, Rolly? <laughs> yes, they did. But PC Poppet's shiny button was very special to him. We've got all our special things hidden in our treasure chest. Can you remember where it is, Rocket? Oh, yes, of course I can. <clears throat> oh, dear. Where was it? Oh, oh, can't you remember, Rocket? Um, uh... Oh, yes. I remember. Behind that tuffet. Oh, uh... Oh, oh no! It's not here, Rocket! Oh, Rocket, I don't think we hid it in the purple meadow at all. Oh, come with me! <coughs> oh, yes. I am the Finding Frog. This is it. It's definitely here. Is it? Somewhere. Oh. Can you remember where our treasure chest is? The leaf blanket. Under the leaf blanket. Oh, of course, Rocket. The leaf blanket. We hid it under the leaf blanket. Now I remember. Hey, hey we found it <laughs> in two tiddles of a tadpole's tail. <laughs> <laughs> um. It's gone. Did you hear that? It's Fimbo's shimmy shaker. Yes, it is. But the shimmy shaker is inside the treasure chest, Rocket. Ooh, so it is. I know what we can do, Rocket. Uh, what? We can follow the sound of the shimmy shaker and we might find the treasure chest. It's... this way! Ooh, we're getting closer. Oh, we're going to find our treasure rocket. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Oh, well done, Rocket. Oh, I can hear the shimmy shaker. Oh, come on, let's have a look. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> I think looking for treasure is as much fun as hiding it. I found my shimmy shaker. Oh, and said the white hat. Oh, and best of all, apples! In the treasure chest, in the treasure chest, we found the things we like the best. A shimmy for you. Yummy apples for tea. Yay! Yummy. 
Oh, hello to you. How do you do? <laughs> it's chilly in Thimble Valley today, and there are lots of clouds in the sky. My mum said there might be a storm today. I'm quite excited. Let's go and tell Uncle Rolly. Ready? Then off we go! Hello there, and how are you today? I'm just looking at the dark clouds through my rolly-scope. Would you like to have a look? Ah. Hello, Uncle Rolly. Oh, hello there, little Bo. I was just showing our friends the dark clouds over Thimble Valley. Mum says she thinks there's going to be a thunderstorm. Well, your lovely mum is usually right, little Bo. She can just sniff the air and know what the weather's going to be like. Will the thunderstorm be scary, Uncle Rolly? Well, the thunder can make a very loud noise, and sometimes that can be a bit scary. Hmm. I'm going to go and tell you go and me go, so they're not scared. Ah, uh, that's a good idea, little Bo. See you in a Rolly Mo. <laughs> you go! Me go! We, we go! go! Amigo! Amigo! Let's a go go! Boo! 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 What are you doing, Hugo? I'm trying to make you jump. Oh, you can't make me jump. Hello, Miggle! Nope! You can't make me jump. Hello, you two snoots. Ah! Sorry. Did I make you jump? No. Yes. I came to tell you that there's going to be a thunderstorm. <gasps> a thundery storm? Yes, a thunderstorm with lots of loud thunder. Oh, loud noises don't bother me. Uh, how loud is loud? Let's have a look in my busy book and see. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Fimbo! What are we going to do today, Fimbo? A helicopter. Listen to the sound it makes. This is a loud and quiet game. Look, there's a mouse. Is the mouse loud or quiet? <laughs> The mouse is very quiet. A trumpet is loud. That's right. Trumpets are loud. Oh, look. A ladybird. Is the ladybird loud or quiet? The ladybird is quiet. That's right. The ladybird is quiet. That's a fluffy cloud. Is it loud or quiet? It's really quiet. We've got loud things. And we've got quiet things. Have we got more loud things or more quiet things? Let's see. We've got one, two... Two loud things. And one, two, three... Three quiet things. There are more quiet things than loud things. Thank you, Fimbo. See you again soon. Oh, I think the thunderstorm might make me jump. It won't make me jump. Nothing makes me jump. Hello. Ah! Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Did I make you all jump? No, not me. You can't make me jump. Rowley, have you got a story to make us all jump? Well, let me see. I might have. Would you like to hear it? Yes, yes it's please, it's me. Then I'll be back in a roly mo. <laughs> Story time with Rolly Mo. Our, Our favourite time of day! When you take a look 
inside a book. Who knows what you will see when you take a look inside a book? It's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Hmm. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. A story to make everyone jump, if you please. Ah, lovely. Now then, are you all sitting comfortably? Yes. Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. Josh was playing with his cars in the yard. Zoom! The green one whizzed off. Whee! The red one raced over the yard and bumped right into the old shed in the corner. Josh didn't like the old shed. The door was broken. And sometimes it made funny noises. The door moved all on its own. Inside it was all dark. Dad! Josh ran into the house. His dad was busy painting Josh's old cot, ready for baby Martha. What's the matter, Josh? asked Dad. He picked him up just as if he were a little baby like Martha. I don't like that shed," said Josh. "I think there's something nasty there." Dad kissed Josh. "Let's have a look together," he said. In the yard, Josh stood behind Dad while he pulled off the old door. "Look, Josh," said Dad. Josh peeped out. He saw some very dusty shelves full of old tools and rusty tins. It wasn't dark anymore. Hmm. I think I've got an idea," said Dad. The next day, when Josh came back from his auntie Lou's, he saw that Dad had painted the shelves red and yellow, and he'd put Josh's football on them, and his cars, and there was just enough room to keep the tricycle there out of the rain. Now it's my shed, isn't it? Said Josh. Yes, said Dad. It's Josh's shed. There. Did that make anyone jump? It made me jump when the door squeaked. Me too. Not me. It didn't make me jump. Hello, little Bo. Hello. How are you? Okay. The sky is blue. It's a beautiful day. So walking along, humming a song. Then go! <laughs> I jump out at you! <laughs> boo here, boo, boo there, boo, boo in the middle. Boo round boo, and square. Boo and to kick them. Boo boo, should have seen your face. Boo boo boo, all, all over the place. place. <laughs> you don't have to close your eyes. If I say boo, it's a big surprise. And if you want to boo me too, jump out at me and just say boo. Boo here, boo there, boo in the middle, boo round, boo square, boo antiquated, boo boo. Should have seen your face, boo boo boo, all over that place. Boo here, boo there, boo in the middle, boo round, boo square, boo antiquated, boo boo, and now just face. Ah! What was that? What was that? That made me jump! That made me jump! Uh, there's nothing to worry about, Migo. Ah! Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know what it is. It's a strange noise, and it's making me feel all scared. It's the thunder. It makes me feel a little bit scared too. And me. But do you remember the story we heard, Migo? All about strange noises? 
No, I don't. Then I think it might be time for another story. Would you like that? <laughs> yes, it is, please, it is, Rolly. <laughs> well, you sit there. Ah. Now, let's see what we've got here. Mm. One day, Jip and Jamila were playing in the treetops. They were having fun monkeying around when suddenly Jamila heard something strange. <coughs> Chip, was that you? She asked. No, he replied. I thought it was you. Then they both heard the noise again. <coughs> it might be Baby Elephant, said Jamila. He squeaks when he's feeling shy. It can't be, said Jip. He couldn't climb all the way up here. Maybe it's Sunil, then, said Jamila. He can climb. It's not Sunil, said Jip. He's down there playing with Baby Hippo. Who is it, then? asked Jamila. I don't know, said Jip. But let's squeak back to see if we can make it go away. So the two monkeys squeaked as loudly as they could. Eek! Eek! Listen, said Jip. Whoever it is, is squeaking back. He squeaked again. Eek! Eek! Hello, said the pink kaplink. What are you two doing here? We were playing, said Jip, and we heard a funny noise, like this. Eek! That was me, replied the pink kaplink. I heard a funny noise, too, like this. Eek! That was us! laughed Jamila. We've been playing hide and squeak with you, said Jip. Let's do it again, said the pink kaplink. And so they all played hide and squeak until it was time for tea. When Jip and Jamila heard the funny noise, they didn't know what it was. I think they were a bit scary too. Yes, they were. But when they found out what the noise was, they weren't scared anymore. No, and I'm not scared anymore. Let's play a game with the thunder and see if it can make us jump again. Whoa! <laughs> we all jumped! <laughs> I didn't jump that time. I knew it was going to happen. That's right. When it's not a surprise, it doesn't make you jump anymore. Listen. Listen to what, Uncle Rolly? I can't hear the thunder anymore. I think the storm must have gone somewhere else. Oh, no more dark clouds. <laughs> <laughs> now that was a surprise. <laughs> well, we've had a noisy day today. Yes, it's, it's been, been a rowdy, rowdy day. day. You will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Cheerio! <laughs>